Coming up on New Center 6 Update, local prayers and worldwide controversy swirl around the summit before it begins. The search was off but is on again in Colombia. Not everyone headed to Geneva wants to talk about superpower relations. Union has a tough road in the Division III playoffs. Brian will have the pairings. And yesterday's snow will seem like a dream or a nightmare, depending on your point of view, in just a day or two. It's all up next on New Center 6 Update. into position trying to downplay what the Soviets are calling a summit torpedo. The issue is a letter written by Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger. It's got the president perturbed, kept his advisors hopping, and given the Soviets something to complain about. Bill Plant has more from Geneva. On his way to a final strategy session, President Reagan denied angrily that anyone tried to sabotage the summit by leaking a letter from the Secretary of Defense urging the president to make no arms deals with the Soviets. Mr. Reagan had an even more emphatic response when asked if he intended to fire Secretary Weinberger. Still annoyed minutes later as he posed for photos, the president questioned reports that an administration official had called release of the letter sabotage and had implied it was done by hardliners in the Defense Department. I'm wondering if that individual is not the figment of someone in impressive imagination. In fact, CBS News was present when the remark was made. The president, taking a walk with Mrs. Reagan for the benefit of photographers, would say no more about the incident. The Soviets, in their daily news briefing, seized on it as evidence the Reagan administration doesn't want arms agreements. Well, if that's true, what he's saying, then this is a direct attempt to torpedo the whole arms limitation process. The president's men assumed their damage control stations, insisting the letter was nothing new and didn't really matter. The secretary's judgments are judgments that have been made before. The president doesn't surround himself with yes men or people who just think along one line. He gets diverse opinions and then from those he chooses. He's made up his mind. I'd be 